Sculptor Gutson Borglum carved more than individuals into stone. Mount Rushmore was intended to commemorate American culture and ideals, a monument to democracy itself. Thus he chose four presidents he believed best embodied the spirit of America and represented the first 150 years of American history. These presidents were George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln oversaw one of the most pivotal periods of the United States, the Civil War. His strength and determination held the Union together during one of America's most trying times. Borglum wrote on the selection of Lincoln, Lincoln, because it was Lincoln and no other than Lincoln, whose mind, heart, and finally life determined that we should continue as a common family of states and in union forever. Borglum had long admired and respected Lincoln, and the sculpture at Mount Rushmore was not Borglum's first of a president. He also sculpted the marble bust of Lincoln at the U.S. Capitol and the seated Lincoln in Newark, New Jersey. One of the dilemmas Borglum faced was whether or not to carve Lincoln clean-shaven or with a beard. Eventually, he decided to portray Lincoln with the beard he had while president. Borglum was a master sculptor, an incredible attention to detail contributed to the lifelike portrayals of each president. Borglum paid special attention to the eyes of each sculpture. Each eye spans approximately 11 feet. A shaft of protruding granite approximately 20 inches long serves as the pupil. The smooth front surface of the shaft reflects light and the concave depressions create shadows that add depth. In Mount Rushmore, the story behind the scenery, Borglum's son states, Many observers have remarked that the compassionate face of Lincoln is the most skillfully carved of the four faces on Mount Rushmore. If this is true, it is no doubt because of my father's great reverence and love for Lincoln, his favorite subject. 